Hi guys, Domingo here and this is the Voyager Air from Corsair. Now this is a portable drive with a built-in battery and a Wi-Fi network so you can connect up to five Wi-Fi devices to it such as laptop, tablet or smartphone and stream data from it. Now the idea is not new because on the market there has been other devices with the same features such as the G-Connect from GTEC or the Wireless Plus from Seagate. Now you can see they're kind of similar, but the Corsair here manages to be quite different. First, it's come in red. Now it's important because it kind of matches my t-shirt. Now what makes it really different, the fact that it comes with features that the other two individually doesn't have. For example, the G-Connect here comes with a network port, but doesn't have a battery on the inside. And the Wireless Plus here comes with a battery on the inside, actually very good battery, but no network port. So this is a device that comes with everything you ask for for a mobile storage device. It comes with a built-in Wi-Fi network, a built-in network port, and a built-in battery with up to seven hours of battery life. Almost everything you can ask for. And of course, it also works as a regular bus power portable drive when connected to a computer using the included USB 3.0 cable. Now the best use of the Voyager Air is of course as a mobile media server with up to one terabyte of storage space, you can basically transfer your entire library onto it and print on the go. And then you can stream photo, music, document, video to your tablets and smartphone and what have you. It comes with a Voyager Air mobile app for Android, iOS and Kindle Fire devices to make the streaming and managing its feature an easy job. I don't know about you, but for me, this means I can bring with me the entire catalog of Michael Bolton. For my money, nothing is more effective than what he sings, when a man loves a woman. So romantic, so sentimental, and so many good memories. All right, now back to the Voyager Air. On the front here, you can see it have two on-off switches, one for the power and the other for the Wi-Fi signal. I actually really like the fact that the on and off position are clearly marked. With other devices such as the Wireless Plus, there's only one power button. You have to press and hold and hope that you hold it long enough or press quick enough for it to work as expected. Another good thing about the Voyager Air is the fact that it comes with a car charger and also a traveling pouch. At the cost of $220 for one terabyte or $180 for 500 gigabyte, I think the new device here is quite a good buy. But for more on that, you have to check out the full review and do some reading. And when you're there, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And that's because I am Dom Ngo, and this has been the first look at the Voyager Air from Corsair. And by the way, this is just a free t-shirt.